It is my pleasure to be here in another session of the HPP Innovation Week entitled Shales Away with the HPP. Here we will have a little bit of a live demonstration of one of the earliest and most visually impactful applications for the HPP industry. We all know how HPP serves as a shelf extension step, how to inactivate pathogens in lots of uh, uh, food products, including seafood. But uh, uh, is seafood shocking for recovery 100% of edible meat from uh, bivalves such as oysters, clams, mussels, crustaceans, uh, lobsters, a little bit more challenging, but it can be done for crabs as well, and without uh, mi with minimal impact in terms of the sensory profile of the, of the, of the seafood. Uh, so in this case, uh, the amount of pressure applied is relatively low when compared to conventional HPP applications. You're running the 30,000 to the 45,000 PSI range, holding times up to one minute, and uh, you use usually uh, 50 Fahrenheit or 60 Fahrenheit in order to process the, the meat. You can also Im immerse the, the lobsters, the oysters in seawater so that high pressure can help to infuse them give a much better salty flavor, so it's uh, better for consumers as well. At these relatively low pressure levels, uh, we can still inactivate and minimize the risk associated with some foodborne pathogens, such as Vibrio, which is one of the most recurring foodborne uh, illness outbreaks over here in the US and around the world because of the consumption of raw oysters. And then again, if you cook out the oysters, you can take away the Vibrio, but you also take away some of the most important uh, organolectic properties. With HPP, you achieve both uh, shocking, minimize risk with Vibrio, and also you eliminate some of other foodborne pathogens such as parasites like Anisakis, norovirus, and hepatitis virus as well. So shall we get started and get into the live demonstration? Today over here in the pilot plan, we have, uh, we have some uh, mucils and clams ready to be processed under the HPP to determine whether we can uh, achieve that 100% uh, meat recovery. So we're going to place over here this on the vessel and get everything ready for the cycle to start. So now that the cycle is over, let's go take a look to see some of the samples that actually got out of the HEP unit. We're going to open the bag and see how we are able to recover 100% of edible meat. So usually shocking takes uh, lots of skill, lots of dexterity. It's actually hazardous because you can pierce through your hand, cut away your finger, and most importantly, you need lots of patience. But you can see that over here with HPP. Just simply by pulling away the, the shell, pushing a little bit, 100% of the edible meat. So it's fresh, no color changes, no texture changes, and we can just continue going on and on and see what, how easily this detaches outside of the shell. If you take a closer look into the shell, you can see that it's completely clean. And again, the muscle is not harmed, it's not pierced like when you do with a, when shocking with a knife. So again, 100% recovery of this edible meat while minimizing risk with foodborne pathogens, only possible with a high pressure technology. I hope that you enjoy the session. I invite you to continue over in the HPP Innovation Week. If you have any questions, feel free, feel free to reach out uh, with us, the applications department at appsapps at hyperbaric.com. Thank you and have a wonderful day.